Good morning, Mission Control. We've been really busy lately, and I'll admit the uh, stress of leaving my job, not having a paycheck, and putting it all out on the line for everybody to see is uh, kind of getting to me lately. So I'm in a little bit of a funk today, but the mission goes on, and I need to get my head in the right place and, and keep going and, and get the mission all accomplished. One of the things that I need to do out here in the shop, don't have connectivity out here to my local network. So it's kind of like Battlestar Galactica. I don't like the idea of having everything connected to like the internet to where people can get in and Cylons can come and attack us. You have to be a Battlestar Galactica fan to know what I'm talking about. If not, go look it up because it's a great show. And, uh, but I do like having all my local stuff networked to each other. So I want to be able to access my home network uh, that's up at the house. I want to access it out the site. I want to access it here in the shop because that's where all my CAD drawings are at. And I try really hard to print everything before I come out here, but sometimes you just forget. Uh, no matter how much planning you put into it or how many checklists you have, sometimes you just miss something. And it's kind of a pain to get up, get everything off, go in the house, find what you need, come back out, get dressed again, come back out here, work, and it just interrupts your flow, right? You like flow, you like to have everything and just be in flow when you're working, and uh, that screws it up. So one of the ways that we can fix that is by bringing connectivity out to the shop here. Uh, we already have it out at the site, uh, using parts left over from Have One, but we don't have it here. So today I wanna connect the shop to the local network and thus the internet. Um, we're gonna be using another one of the uh, Ubiquiti Systems Nano Station uh, Loco M2s. And uh, these things are a pain in the butt to program, but they're really good at what they do. Um, and I'm not a network person, and I just sat there and said, you know, I'm figuring this thing out, which is pretty much my MO. I'm not an expert at anything. I just figure it out, and I'm persistent. I, I'll just keep going until I get it. Um, so I got this guy all programmed up last night. There's lots of great videos out there on how to program these um, better that explain it better than I can. I, I watched those and got it all programmed up. But today we're going to install it. Uh, we need to get it outside and then run a bunch of Cat5 cable. Uh, to a power over ethernet connector that comes with it. It's just a simple little device. For those that live out in the woods and you wanna do the same thing, I do recommend these. These are all weather, outdoor, uh, very small, very nice looking, very professional. And then you have your power over ethernet connector here that allows you to connect. And then you can also connect this to a, a local uh, distribution node if you want to get a wider area of coverage. But what we're doing is we're extending the network up at the house out here to the shop. Like I said, it's already out the site. That way we can have a computer out here and maybe one day, like we're gonna be redoing this here. Uh, we gotta enclose it uh, and start getting some dust and everything under control. Same with the stalls. We gotta get those all enclosed because um, we're gonna start fabricating uh, in here with some stuff that's a lot more sensitive to temperature and dust when that big 3D printer comes. I'm very excited for that. So uh, one vision that I have is being able to have like a, uh, a flat panel, which <laughs> they're super cheap these days, it's amazing, but a flat panel that's connected to the network to where I can see the CAD files of what we're working on right now on the shop floor. I can see all those right here. It just makes it easier. Uh, I could also be playing Pandora or watching the Seahawks play football, uh, Hulu or whatever uh, while we're out here, but it all starts with connectivity. So. That's a lot, it makes me excited to think about redoing this thing and like really turning it into a cool fabrication shop, but we'll see how that goes. Let's get to work with installing this guy. One of the very first things we have to do is just check the signal strength uh, outside of the barn here. It'll be better than out the site for sure because we're closer to where the transmitter is at up at the house. Uh, but to do the check, we're gonna plug this bad boy in. Uh, to do that, you take your Cat5 cable, connect it there. And then set that down over there. Whoop. Got that. Connect the other end into the PoE power over Ethernet connection here. And we just plug this guy in, which we will bring over here. Do, 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 do. They are tough little guys, so it doesn't hurt having it drag along. So one of the things you want to make sure you get is shielded uh, ethernet cable. 
uh, helps with static buildup uh, on these devices. I'm going to see it connect here. We're going to have to go outside and see where the power, where the strength is at. Oh, it's starting to grab on. Let's open the door. Full power, look at that. <clears throat> so I'm pointing almost directly at the transmitter up at the house and I have full power, full signal here, which is great. Uh, so I can basically mount it anywhere outside of the shop and bring it in uh, and plug it in here and we're gonna be fine. So I don't have to do any crazy installation stuff. But I got the uh, pole mount for it. So now it's just a matter of finding a nice spot outside, cut lots of, lots of signal here. This is great. Welcome to day two of this project. Thanks to fast forwarding in YouTube time and a long time in my time. Uh, we're here today, it's a little bit colder out uh, and we've had to install the um, access point. Uh, so we have the repeater and then we have the access point and the access point did not want to work yesterday. Uh, it seems that each of these ubiquity systems of uh, devices that I have really likes to push my patients to the absolute breaking point. Um, there's always one little setting somewhere. Oops. Internet's working. <laughs> that was Pandora. Uh, okay, so there's always one little setting somewhere that I screw up uh, because I'm not a professional network engineer and these devices are pro level. They're not uh, something you would go by uh, if you have zero idea what you're doing. Now I do have some idea of what I'm doing, but I'm not a network engineer. So there's some settings that, you know, you gotta, they're buried deep and uh, you gotta find them. And if you mess them up, then it messes everything up. Uh, I've messed it up quite a few times where I had to factory reset the devices uh, so that I can start over because I didn't do things in the right sequence. Uh, so I figured that all out. And uh, got the access point out here. It's working, green is good, green light is good. Uh, this is all just kind of temporarily set up here. I've got the repeater out, line of sight to the house. Uh, so we're getting a really strong signal out there. And our next step is to actually mount uh, the repeater and then start routing cables. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and put in a new outlet as well and uh, mount all this stuff up somewhere up in the ceiling out of the way uh, but we're gonna route everything first see how it all looks and then make that call so that's the next step Whew. and it is taking forever to do this but the nice thing is once we get it all done you know it'll be done you don't have to mess with it because they are pro level devices they and we had them out in the hab and once they're set up you don't mess with them they're just they just work which is great and then we'll have Wi-Fi here we'll have Wi-Fi out the the site and we can start doing some pretty cool stuff as far as networking and sharing information uh, so I don't have to go back and forth to the house all the time and get uh, documents or hey I forgot this you know drawing I could just pull it up digitally and look at it and maybe even start doing redline uh, redlining via digital process rather than actual handwritten but eh, whatever we got a lot of stuff to do so let's get started Behind you is the barn. Over there is the site. Right up there is the, uh, the repeater transmitter. That's the main transmitter that's bringing, uh, sending the signal out this direction. Let me show you where we want to mount everything at and why. All right, behind me, here's where we're gonna mount it, right on the corner of the barn eave there. And the reason why is that has a direct line of sight up to the transmitter and it's also in the same uh, I'm going to say line of sight because there is some blockage, but uh, from an RF standpoint, it is line of sight with blockage um, out to the site. And what's cool about these Ubiquiti uh, repeaters is that the way I have them set up right now is they, act, they can act as a mesh network. And what that means is if, if, if one of them goes down, they can kind of send the signal through the other one, which is way cool. Um, it, it just gives you a more, um, a stronger network. So you don't really have to do that but it's way cool to say mesh network. <laughs> so we're gonna set it up there. Uh, it gives us a great network, gives us great location, and then we're gonna route all the cabling and everything up and through the barn. You should really put a level on that.
It helps if you level it on a level surface. Yeah, that looks all right. You guys have been back here the whole time, you didn't say anything? All right, so we got it mounted. Now we have lots of cable routing to do. Get it all tacked up in there, mounted behind where you can't see it, hopefully. Put a service loop in it, uh, also a drip loop, so that the water coming off of it just drips down. And uh, we should be good. We should be good after that. The good news is that location right there is getting 100% signal strength. So that means we're getting a great repeat from the house out to here. I just got the network cable ran into the barn and mounted up into the rafters behind you. I'll give you a view of that. Got all my tools here. We are going to put in a new power outlet up uh, in the hayloft where we're going to connect all this to and wire it up all nice and pretty up out of the way. I think I have everything I need. I checked the breaker, got it turned off. It's time to climb up in the rafters and see, uh, see about putting this all together up there. You know, you have stuff flying around the shop and just forget to use it. I don't need to carry that all loose. I got my pouch. Done installing everything up top there. It turned out really nice. Very happy with it. Got the uh, access point installed up top, so we're broadcasting to a lot larger area. Got all the power source put up there, put in a weatherproof box, which is way better than what the previous owners did with this place. They just put outlets in and didn't cover them, and there's a bunch of hay, so that's not good. Someday we need to redo all that sooner than later. I've got the uh, Ubiquiti app here on the phone, and the uh, Access point is there. Uh, everything appears to be working correctly. Uh, we've got the SSID, we've got the Wi-Fi network, it's going. Uh, let's see here. We've got Pandora. So the internet is now out here. I'm gonna do some uh, testing. Obviously right here I've got full signal, but I wanna see how far this whole thing goes uh, before we lose uh, service out here. So really happy about this. All right, so I did a uh, quick uh, range test and, and when the door is open, you can, man, this thing pumps out the signal. It's everywhere. So again, that's a Ubiquiti Networks uh, access point. Really, really nice equipment once you get all the little settings figured out and you're done bashing your head against the wall because you screwed up one little thing. Uh, being able to access it all from the old, this is an old phone I have, I don't throw them away. This is a Samsung S7, uh, still a very powerful little computer and now I can walk around with it, connect to my network, get to OneNote, uh, get to the internet, uh, listen to Pandora of course, write down my to-do list and have my PDF documents all on this. Uh, so that's great. Uh, I'm pretty much done with this project, really happy how it turned out. And uh, now it's time to go out there and start grinding on the trailer some more. So thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. And you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, on Instagram. And if you'd like to support our efforts, you can do so through Patreon. In the meantime, everybody, this is The Real Martian. Out.